party. Very nice. Yeah. One year. Yeah, I, I really got to hand it to the 24-7 people who went through last winter and the rain, the cold, with nothing more than a blanket. You can't even have a sleeping bag there. And they're cold all night, but you know what? They stuck it out. You know what this taught me? Occupy is not a leaderless group. Everybody here is a leader. You are the leaders you're looking for. And why do I say that? Because you're here. Because you care. And if we really want to get down to the guts of what our big problem is, we've got too many leaders that just don't care. So, I, I think we need to develop this idea in our future because now that occupies a year old, movements tend to mature a little faster than people do. It's sort of coming of age. And maybe what would be a good idea from this point on, we start educating people on what the issues are, start getting people installed on boards, committees, elected offices, any place where we can stick our fingers in the fan. Take this protest, not only in the front of the banks, but in the back rooms where all the real deals are made. This is where things need to change. If we don't do this, that quote seems to be popular today. One that keeps sticking in my head is one by Harriet Tubman. She said, I freed a thousand slaves. Could have freed a thousand more if they had just known they were slaves. What we need to do is take our leadership out into the community. We have to make people aware of what's going on and come up with some solutions of what can be done about it. With all these heads here that care, there's got to be an answer to the problems that we're facing in the world today. The 21st century presents a lot of new challenges. Now, the homeless right now in this town are under attack. Yeah, I, I think when President Johnson started the war on poverty, it didn't intend it to be a shooting war. But apparently, some of our county supervisors feel that it is, in fact, a war where people need to be arrested for being poor. And more and more of us are becoming poor all the time, so I really feel that this is just a test to, to see what they can do to everybody eventually. The homeless issues are everybody's issues because they're so far reaching. When everything collapses, they come to the homeless community. That means shelter, that means health care, that means food, that means what are you going to do to educate your children? How are you going to keep CPS from taking them? These are all things that the poor have to worry about right now. And the only way out of it is education, so I'm hoping we can kick this group together and start to identify the places where we can do something to affect change, where we can move forward. I remember genius is 99% hard work, so that's um, what we need at this point. It's a lot of hard work. So happy birthday, Occupy. Back again for another.